morning everybody welcome again to the allotment a daily basis yes now listen tell us because days like these daily ones you know what i mean that's i'm kind of putting these out there and i'm not sure if everyone's thinking too on for god's sake man so let us know in the comments if you like and give us a thumbs up and just put down yeah yeah it's one to keep on doing them because i've got a few days off and i thought while it's you know we're in this kind of situation where someone can't get out i'll i'll do these but i need to know do you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't have to kind of press you know i come up here anyways daily but it'd be nice if you just kind of let us know is this something you like right what else was i going to mention don't forget to subscribe subscribe that would be fantastic i've got these things i've got to say before we kind of kick in to the video here so don't forget to subscribe if you like this thing that would be fantastic also, the Vitapod competition is over. It is over there now. We've had hundreds of entries into that. And hopefully in the next day or so, I'll mention the winner. And Green Sensation, we'll get that. We'll get that competition out to you. The, the prize, fantastic. Got something else coming from Green Sensation as well. Look out for that, which is the next stage from the, the Vitapod as well. So that's super cool. Right. Now I've been thinking, right, well I, I hedged me bets. Look at, go and have a look at the app. Guess what I did? Yeah. <laughs> I fleeced it up there and it's actually warm as anything to be honest and to in here I moved things because I've got there's a lot of theories we had a lot of theories going around and I think it's a number of things I think the cold was the kind of main thing date that doesn't lie now look at this I'll just show you if I can put this little clip up of my where is it this is the thermometer I have there and as you can see there it dipped it did dip to below freezing but it's yes i know that i know that so that's <laughs> that's as good as a good a reason as any but why did some and not others he has my thinking it was against the edge which a number of people mentioned and a number of people mentioned it was right close to the edge so that's why i've started to bring everything into this middle and again this path is so good for that <laughs> you know but i also think that a lot to do with it with the grafted ones as well you know these ones were i wouldn't care, care that, that one still seems like a hanging in there but i wonder if the, the, the grafted has anything to do with it as well but i need i still need some tomatoes and i'll tell you why soon but i still need some tomatoes well, fleeced everything over there and hopefully you know i've watered them last night and i think hopefully they'll be all right oh let's get this off gently gently tony gently oh standing on the bloody oh they seem all right and i'll come up tonight and just put this back on oh They seem all right, eh? don't they? Look at that I've got for some reason. <laughs> the weeds, the weeds are growing better than the, <laughs> the plants. So, take this one off, excuse the erratic camera. I see more. Right. These are my main ones, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping this is where I'll get my crop of tomatoes from and I don't want to lose them. And I've still got grafted in one grafted left dearly dearly me one grafted hanging on to it so keep them in there i'll open them vents let a bit of condensation out someone mentioned that so i'm not gonna plant them to the end what i was going to what i am going to do is just have a cut i've got things on down but i want to put some mulch on these peas there now i've been watering them they've all popped up as you can see but i don't want to water them anymore 
until they're kind of fruit going but I want to put some mulch on them now and just keep that the mulch just keep everything nice and damp underneath it so let's get doing that There we go, get that done, just give that little hedge a brush, one done, I'll get that done, then we'll get on to the next job, just like I say, just to keep the, the moisture in there now, until I get up start fruiting. Looks nice when it's nice and dark, you know, you just put your mulch on there and you just you know, give it a quick brush. So that's done. Another little job that I've been meaning to do for ages is chicken pellets. Oh! Now I haven't got many of these left, but I want to just give a little handful on each of me. Come on, there's the... On, one sec. Just on the onions and garlic. Just a get them into the last leg of the journey. <laughs> used all this man, you know what I mean? That's it, finished. Keep this because I'm going to keep this to mix up my sugar and water for my bees. I think I'll put something in, plant something. They're just sitting there. I want to put, you know, I was mentioning the, the chilies kind of at the back. I wonder if I just, no, I'll stick them in pots. Oh, well. I just use a smaller pot with the chilies. Still got the holes in the bottom. Sleep, it's a fine line between the 
Mine, I'll tell you what has thrived in this kind of slightly colder conditions. Look at that bloody celeriac. It's all the way there now. Even, I'll have to be putting them on, to be honest. But they're the ones Tony sent. There's a few more. Yes. And, by God. Do, is, that, is that bloody banana shallots I've got there? My God. Let's have a look what, just having a look here. I thought I was going to lose some cucumbers, but they seem to be kind of picking themselves up there. I didn't take any down. I gave some away to Alex last time he was up. So it seems all right at the moment. Hopefully we're not going to get any more bloody frosts, man, eh? Oh, right. Let us know if you like these daily ones and I'll keep doing them. If not, a couple of times a week anyways. Look after yourself. Take good care.